running yet. Here's the Chrysler. Uh, many of you remember it came over to Mike's shop a couple years ago. Still here. Uh, today's the day I take it home. And I'm going to get the hood up and we'll see. I can't even remember if this thing's still registered. You know what? It might be. Oh, well, that was good through March. <laughs> well, there you go. That's good. So, first thing I'm going to do is just raise the hood. I'm pretty sure the battery's got to be dead on it. And uh, we'll get up under there and figure out what we got and where we go from there and all. Oh, joy. Okay, I went ahead and pumped the tires up and I opened the door with the idea that if she starts, I'd like to get her all the way outside just in case she were to quit. <laughs> Uh, so I put a fresh battery in it, poured a little gas in the carburetor, I'm going to climb in there and we'll see what happens. Oh, the joy. My biggest concern is the gas in this car. I'm hoping it hasn't gone bad. Oh, I can tell Mike's been in here because the seat is in the back seat. Lordy mercy. Mike with a long-legged fella. Okay. Pour some more gas in the carburetor. Maybe it'd be better if I put y'all out here.
All right then. All my dreams came true. I was able to get her out of here. <coughs> ah, it's a lovely thing. Actually, the tag is still good on it. I think if I can just rinse her off, I might just run her right on home. Uh, check with Tina and see if she's got a water hose around here. Oh, the joy. Okay, friends and neighbors, here we go. Actually, Mike's wife's gonna follow me home. It's awful nice of her. Then she can bring me back. Get my, uh, my car, my other car. Hope she sounds good. I remember where everything is on here. This thing has weird and different turn signals. This brakes are rusty, but that's normal. Thank you. 
Thank you.